So Pudgy Penguins, the NFT, everyone's favorite NFT of penguin cartoon JPEGs. So went through, I'm not going to go through the history of it, but they, basically a big change of control. It looked like they were crashing as, as an NFT, right? Everyone's laughing. Oh, you spent a lot of money on JPEGs. This person comes in with the vision of how to turn this into a global consumer brand. And just yesterday or two days ago, launched a full line of toys, all digitally connected that, you know, if you buy a toy, you get a soul bound NFT to a digital wallet and you can swap and play with your toy. I think there's going to be future game integration. I mean, I, I think to me, it's really fascinating about how these NFTs are getting tied into real world products. What I haven't figured out and I dug reasonably deep last night before I got distracted with having to care for my child was the royal real life pudgy penguin yeah my real life pudgy penguin the royalties getting paid to the pudgy penguin owners right um I heard rumor that it was like one percent gets paid to the pudgy penguin owners whose whose penguin was actually licensed because not all the penguins got licensed but it is this interesting argument of okay first of all when does it become a security Right. If you're licensing the likeness of an NFT you own, is that a security? I don't think so. But I'm not a securities expert. Um, Could be, yeah, licensing the collectibles. I'm sure the way to get around it. But like to your point, though, you said punji penguins are set up the same way as board apes that like you actually own the ip own to your individual yeah. pudgy penguin i believe i believe that's right so anyway i think it's just a fascinating story for for years people shit on you know wh why do you own nfts not me in particular why would anyone own nfts they're just jpegs and you're starting to see people are using these jpegs to launch toys and video games and there is a royalty stream that's getting paid back to the community. It seems kind of insane. It's like, well, why not just do it? Why not launch a whole new 10,000 penguins? And why pay the community anything? And I think part of the argument is like that the community is what really grows the market share. It's like it's like having a mark, you know, a very invested 10,000 person marketing team out there talking about this stuff and sharing the culture and trying to promote it. Because it's they're in, they're financially incentivized to. Yeah, you have your first mover fans, like you know that that are gonna you know push it larger than you could ever like trying to start it again from scratch. But also, I think it was on a few weeks ago. Tim Ferriss had uh, Bobby Hundreds on his podcast, and obviously, Bobby Hundreds is still very bullish on NFTs. So, like you're seeing this pudgy penguins come out and everything. Are you starting to uh, get bulled up on NFTs again, or are you always still the same? I'm always still the same. I, I I have the, some projects I like. I flip where I think it makes sense. I just haven't been honestly. Uh, I haven't been paying attention. I think NFTs just actually got taken out behind the woodshed a couple weeks ago. It's been I think it's been pretty rough for most NFTs other than pudgy penguins lately. Um, I think there's some really fascinating projects out there. I think people really do overlook the space and they say, oh, it's just a, it's J, a JPEG. I think there are some projects that are doing far more, and there's real economic incentive for owning that. Again, I, I dabble. It is less than 1% of, you know, my liquid net worth. So it's like, okay, if I lose it all, it's not the end of the world. So speak, uh, do Pungji penguins have a promise? Because around here, we have a pirate's pinky promise. You're getting that oh, 3P. Tell me about that. Uh, yeah, so it's, it's not crazy. I mean, we sit here and we entertain you while I have two unbelievably red eyes due to uh bacterial you know red eye and then uh but all we ask from you in return is that you go over to youtube and you smash that subscribe button we don't care if you only listen to us on audio we're cool with that i mean it'd be nice if you left a review on audio but we prefer you go over to even youtube and hit that subscribe button on youtube that's our pirate pinky promise that is our promise to you doesn't require pudgy penguins doesn't necessarily require uh pudgy pirates that i'm turning into but it's just our pirate pinky promise between us and you